Speaking to a gathering of British ambassadors at the UK's Foreign Office, Gareth Thomas said developing countries are suffering from a massive loss in private capital flows as a result of the global economic downturn. Private capital flows to developing countries are likely to fall from one trillion US dollars um, two years ago uh, to less than 200 billion um, dollars um, this year, a five-fold um, decline in just um, two years. So in short, we're in the midst of the worst um, global recession for a, a generation. And just at a time when the challenges uh, faced by African and uh, um, other developing um, nations were um, considerable. But despite the challenges, he said there were reasons to be optimistic. We're clearly going to need a global solution to what is an international um, financial crisis, but one that protects um, the poorest and helps developing countries get back on track in terms of economic growth. Secondly, we've got to continue to res resist um, protectionism and um, support um, free, um, free trade. Third, we've got to provide more trade finance um, to keep global trade um, flowing. Fourth, we've got to tackle uh, weak governance and um, political corruption that does uh, still uh, rep rep represent a significant barrier um, to new investment in developing countries. And fifthly, we need to provide more aid um, to, to, to help developing countries build up their infrastructure and increase uh, their um, capacity and ability um, to trade. At the G20 next week, Gordon Brown, along with other leaders, will be pushing the international community to take significant steps along the route to global recovery. This is the first recession in history where um, we can consciously address the needs um, of um, the poor. Previous recessions, the needs of the poor have been almost completely um, forgotten. This is the first one where we can actually make um, a difference um, in, that, uh, in that way. So we will be seeing uh, the launch of a, what we hope is a, will be an ambitious new fund to help developing countries provide protection for the most vulnerable members of their um, country. And we're also looking to secure agreement to a new global poverty alert um, to tell us more quickly how an effective international um, response uh, might impact uh, on the uh, situation of the very poorest. Improving trade flow will be a key issue. We want to use the summit next week to secure uh, much stronger commitments to resist um, protectionism. We want to see a new monitoring system that's led by the WTO to reinforce that um, commitment. And we want to make progress on the Doha um, trade um, deals, first opportunity to engage the new American administration in a systematic way um, with uh, the Doha um, uh, uh, agenda. He concluded by announcing the launch of the first ever World Trade Week, a high-level international conference to promote trade and jobs and the necessary measures to deliver further economic growth.